Hey golf people, I thought we could check out something kind of cool today. Something Tiger's been playing with. You might have seen it during the Masters. It's the new full swing kit. We're gonna test this thing out, we're gonna unbox it. I will show you what I like and dislike and all the features packed inside this little baby. Let's do it. Now the full swing kit is capable of 16 data points, pretty much everything a golfer would need, including club face and path data. That's gonna be really important to a lot of people who wanna know how well they're striking the ball. These are statistics that used to be reserved just for the tour players. And now us mere mortals like you and me have access to it. To me, that's super exciting. Well, here's the box, guys. It is pretty darn heavy, which signals to me it's a pretty solid device. Let's take the lid off there. Right off the bat here, this is a great presentation. It's always nice to have a nice hard case. Some launch monitors do not come with a case. That's a huge bonus for me. It's got this nice little handle here as well. So very portable. I think one of the big selling points that I've seen on the promo materials for this is that it'll slip into your golf bag. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that thing is really solid. And you can see very nice form fitting case. This unit's very solid. I'd say this screen is, let's say four inches by two inches, give or take. You got a nice 16 by nine there. You've got a 4K camera on board here, so you're gonna get very high quality video of your swings. Turning this thing over, we've got our power button, we've got the USB to charge this and probably share some data, hopefully at some point with a computer screen or a projector like I've got. On the other side here, you've got a menu button up and down and an enter button, and this is, if it's not metal, it's a really, really hard PVC style plastic. Very, very solid. This whole unit feels really solid in hand. Coming back here into the case, I've got to imagine there's some sort of battery charger. So, yep, there it is hiding. So you've actually got the brick. That's always nice. It is a USB-C to USB-C, nice and modern. And I like how they hide it in this little flap here. That's pretty cool. So that's really all you've got. I really like the fact that this is minimalist. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see what she can do. Guys, if you're thinking about investing in the full swing kit, there's no better place to do that than my friends at playbetter.com. They've got these things in stock right now with free 48 hour shipping across the continental US. They've always got the best prices on the internet when it comes to golf technology and golf launch monitors like the full swing kit and they're just the most fantastic customer service oriented individuals in the golf industry. Playbetter.com, I will leave a link below here so you can check the full swing kit out there on their website. In doing my research on this unit, one little drawback, and the reason I'm holding this tape measure in my hand is because you need a full 10 feet behind the ball is where the unit needs to sit. That is the longest of any Doppler device that I've ever had to test. Generally, they're somewhere within six to eight feet. So for this, you're gonna need some considerable space. Luckily, I've got a room here that's about 22 feet long, and out on the range, we'll see what we can do, but I'll have to probably move off the mats into the grass in order to catch the readings here. So that is one thing to think about with this unit. So I've gotta say, taking the full swing kit out to the range is a real pleasure. It's so easy to transport this thing, as well as to set it up, fire it up, and get it going. There's no lag. It was very easy to connect to my phone, and I was up and running within one minute. I started off with some wedges, and the first few shots I saw were spot on. A lot of Doppler devices struggle with wedge shots, and I saw both the spin and the carry distance looked very good to me on screen as well as on the app. After a couple of really good shots though, I did get some low spin numbers, and I do believe that that has to do with my range. My range is not on a completely flat horizontal plane, and the full swing kit was sitting about six inches lower than mat height. I do think that that led to a couple of shots here that you see where the spin numbers looked very low to me. Distance across the board throughout my bag, and I tried wedges, I hit a nine iron, a six iron, three wood drivers, distances seemed absolutely spot on. I was pleasantly surprised to see that out on the range, my driver distance I thought was spot on, as well as the spin numbers looked really good to me. Now, I was on a flat level plane and I had the unit 10 feet behind me at the same height that I was hitting shots. And I do believe that that is a big key 
to this device. If you want to get the most accurate distance and spin numbers, you've got to be at mat height with this device. Any variation could throw this and really all Doppler devices off. I really like the fact that you can choose what data that you want to display on screen. I kept it with the standard, but as you can see here, you can scroll through and see different options if you're working on different parts of your game. That makes it really nice. So outdoors, this thing performed very well. Of course, some of those spin numbers were a little bit concerning. So I did take the device indoors here and I actually put it right up against my Bushnell Launch Pro. Now the Bushnell, of course, is an optical device. I found it to be very accurate throughout all my testing that I've done with this thing. And I know it to be very close in terms of my distances. I saw great parity between the Bushnell Launch Pro and the full swing kit for the most part. However, from time to time, I again got some strange spin numbers, especially when you get into the driver and higher irons. That's where indoors, I really think the full swing kit started to struggle for me. I know that I hit my driver about 255 and that's what the Bushnell Launch Pro was telling me. In most cases, I was carrying it 224, 230, that sort of thing. And yet the full swing kit was showing my carries in the 180s and 190s. So I know for a fact, those are low. With the irons, with the wedges, certainly a lot better, maybe still slightly leaning low there. It's hard to tell, you never know which device is correct, but I do know my distances pretty well. And so I will say that the full swing kit, at least as an indoor unit, has a few issues that need to be worked out. Now the next thing I wanna cover here is the full swing kit app, another place where I think this thing really excels. Visually, it's a great presentation and very easy to understand and analyze your data. So here are my sessions. I've got my session on April 14th and I've got my session on April 19th. I will bounce into this session here. We can see the accuracy that I have with my driver. I pushed a few off to the right there. Uh, one went left there with the irons. I was a little left and a little bit right, but not too far off. Nothing straying more than about 15 yards there, so that's good. Same thing with my wedges, even a little bit tighter there, dispersion. And my miss with the wedges seems to be a little bit to the left, interestingly enough. What's nice is you also have your shots by club category, how many shots you hit with each club. You can see I hit 44% irons, 35% wedges, 12% woods, 9% drivers. If we want to look into dispersion, this again is a really nice visual representation with each club being a different color as well. If we wanna look at each shot individually, we can literally bounce into that shot and see the specific stats related to that shot. I can scroll through here and see everything I wanna know, including that launch angle there at 16.4. That one went especially far. That was a pretty good drive right there with my Callaway Rogue ST, love that club. If you wanna look at all shots here, we can look at our averages with the driver 237. I struggled with the three wood as you can see here that day. I uh, topped a couple in fact, and so my overall average was only 174. Six iron down a little bit there, nine iron down a little bit. Everything was into the wind here at the range. So as I mentioned earlier, distances in general with this device, very, very good. It's just some of that specific shot data like spin for instance, that I question a little bit. Now you can go through and you can actually star shots. I starred one of these shots so we can actually take a look at it. And you can see that again, this was that really nice swing. There we've got our high resolution 4K video. You can see that was a really nice swing at impact. One thing I'd really love to be able to do here is draw some lines, or if I was gonna send this video to a coach, have him or her draw some lines on this thing. But unfortunately, that's one thing that's lacking. And I will get into some more things that I think could be improved with this app, but the video itself, really nice. And it's very simple to go ahead and then share that with somebody or go ahead and save it to your phone, all right? Um, again, if I scroll down here, we'll see all of the different information about this drive. And you can see there, the smash factor was 1.5. So this was definitely my best shot, 2,696 RPM, about right for this club. So those are the main things you're going to be able to analyze within the app. And that is pretty good, although I would like to see that be a little bit more robust. But as I bounce back here into sessions, there's one thing I've got to point out to you. And that's the fact here that my April 14th session is locked. Now I can unlock it for premium, 
for 30 days free, but after that I've got to pay $99. And guys, boy oh boy, I really think this is something that needs to change with the full swing kit. If I'm already going to spend $4,000 on a premium device, I would like to be able to go back. That's sort of part and parcel with these devices. You should be able to go back and see your entire history and not have to be charged for that. That's one gripe I definitely have with this device. I'd like to see that changed. Hopefully the full swing kit folks may change this in the future, but right now you've got to unlock that and pay if you want to see your previous history and range sessions. I'd also like to be able to gap my clubs. And again, you can do that if you're unlocked, but I sure would like to be able to do that and, and really amalgamate all my averages over time without having to pay. But all in all, really solid app, really great user interface and experience. Now let's get into some final thoughts here and my positives and negatives on the full swing kit. Some things that I really love, I love the build quality. This thing is solid. You can tell the materials are very high quality. I love the screen to have a big, bright, really the best screen that I've ever seen on one of these devices. That's really nice. Super user friendly and intuitive to set up and get started as well as to analyze the data either on screen on the device itself or on the app. And again, I like the fact that I can do both very simply. With a lot of these devices, I'm pretty much limited to viewing the data on the app. And with things like the Bushnell Launch Pro, for instance, it is on screen, but it's a little bit clunky and that screen definitely not high resolution on the Bushnell Launch Pro. This screen is really nice, very bright. I was out in full sun and it was quite clear. Battery life on this device seems to be very good as well. I did two full sessions with this thing, both indoors and outdoors, and it only sucked up about 20% of the battery life, which leads me to believe I could get five to 10 sessions, of course, depending on how many shots I hit and how much time I spend out there, out of one battery charge. That's really nice. I love the interface of the app and again how intuitive it is as well as the graphical display. Although I do think, and you will hear this in the next section on some of my gripes, there could be some improvements made, but all in all I love the fonts, I love the colors, I like the design, the style, the layout. Another huge plus in my book is the quality of the 4K camera on this unit. The camera recording is automatic depending on when you swing. And what was even better is that I saw the swing from beginning to end, which again, on some units I've tested, it's been a little quirky and I've had to make adjustments. Sometimes it catches just the backswing or sometimes it gets to my setup and by the time I pull it back, the recording shuts off. This thing recorded from beginning to end. Huge plus, the quality very good. I really did not miss any shots outdoors. I missed zero shots outdoors. I missed one or two indoors, but all in all, really solid there. With any device like this, you're gonna miss shots from time to time. I even miss them with my Bushnell Launch Pro indoors. So from a user experience level, this device fantastic. Now it's time to get into some of the little gripes I've got with this and some things that I think can be improved. Let's start with the obvious here, which is price. This thing is competing with things like the Mevo Plus, the SkyTrack, the Bushnell Launch Pro, and this is sitting towards the top end. And the fact that indoors I had that trouble with the driver, I would like to see a little bit more accuracy for the price that I'm paying for this unit. Sticking with price, another gripe that I have is the fact that you've got to pay a $99 annual fee after already spending $4,000 on this device. I really think it is a shame that they're also trying to get you for a subscription here for something that to me is very basic. Now, with things like the Garmin R10, the subscription's going to get you full simulation, something like that I completely understand and I'm on board with. People who are gonna spend the money, $4,000 on a device like this, just give them their stats for goodness sake. When it comes to analyzing the data, especially when you're talking about angle of attack and club face data, I would really like to visually see what that club is doing. They're showing you statistically that okay, you're a little left, you're a little right at impact, but I would really love to see a visual representation of that. To me, that would be a huge win and hopefully that will come with a future software upgrade. The great thing about some of the gripes I'm talking about is these things can be fixed with firmware updates. And I assume with Tiger's name behind this, they're gonna continue to improve this thing and really get it right. So what are my final thoughts on this unit? I think it's a spectacular unit especially for ease of use on an outdoor range environment. If you plan and you have the space, 
to be using this thing outdoors. You've got 10 feet of flat horizontal ground in front of you. I think this is a fantastic solution. Again, really love the video aspect of this thing and the power behind seeing all 16 levels of stats there. If you are primarily thinking that you're gonna use this device indoors, I don't think it's quite there just yet. You can hook this up into something like E6 and get simulation, but I personally would probably hold off or look at some of the other units out there on the market if you're trying to use this indoors primarily. If you're doing a little bit of both, I think it definitely will work. Again, maybe take a grain of salt with some of those long irons and possibly woods as Doppler devices indoors all have a little bit of trouble with those higher range clubs in the bag in terms of getting right distances and spinning things. But again, if you're using this in an outdoor environment, I think you're gonna have spot on accuracy out of this unit right out of the box. All in all, I would give this device a three and a half out of five stars. I think it's got the potential to get to four, four and a half, maybe even five one day. I just think there needs to be a few tweaks made and I do hope we see it happen. Certainly, if something significant happens, I will be back here to make another video to update you on those things. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please do hit subscribe if you are looking to learn more about golf launch monitors and simulators because we've got lots of content on this channel about that and more on the way. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.